Hi guys, Mathsman here, back with another video. Um, now, today we're going to be doing some more algebra. And if you did watch my last video, I did leave um, a question. And the question was, what does this line mean in algebra? And the answer is, divide. Give yourselves a big thumbs up if you got that one right. Okay, now moving on. Now today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at um, questions and how we are going to express them algebraically. So basically what that means is I'm going to turn this into uh, an equation. Now the easiest way to do this is to start with the equals, uh, what's on the other side of the equals. So I've got equals 12, so I'm just going to write that down there. Now once I've written that there, I can scribble it out and I don't need to I don't need to do anything with it now. Then I take a look at where there's a missing number. Now in algebra what we do is if there is a missing number we can represent that by using a letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at this little section here because it says 3 multiplied by a missing number. Okay? So I can actually show that by doing 3 x now, what you should know is that if there is a number next to a letter, then they multiply. And that is the same as saying 3 multiplied by a mystery number. And what you might notice is that I've drawn the x a little, a little weird. And what we do is, in algebra, we draw our x's like this. Because if I draw it like normal like this, then some people might get confused between multiplication and x. Okay, so I've taken care of that bit now, and I'm just left with plus 5, so I'm just going to keep that the same. So 3x plus 5 equals 11. So I have taken that uh, question to begin with, and I've expressed it now algebraically. I've expressed it with numbers. Now moving on. Now what you'll notice about this question is that the equals sign is actually before the question. Now in algebra you might see that quite often and it's please don't get confused about it because it just means the same as if it was at the other side at the end like you're used to seeing it. Okay it just means the same thing. Okay so what I'm actually going to do is move it to the end of my um, my expression here my equation. So once I've done that, I can scribble that out because I've, I've finished with that. Now this time I've got a divide, I've got a missing number divided by 3. So instead of a missing number, I'm going to use x again and then divide by 3. And if you remember what happened in the question right at the beginning of the video, you'll know that if I want to divide something and show it algebraically, I put a line and then 3. So that means x divided by 3. Okay? Please don't write this, x divided by 3, because we never see that in algebra. So now I've taken care of that part here. I'm just left with take away 2 thirds. And there we go. So x over 3, uh, or x divided by 3, take away 2 thirds gives me 2. Now moving on to my next example. So again, my, my, my question starts with 32 equals. Okay, so I'm going to move that to the back again. Equals 32. So I've taken care of that part. Then I have, then I look for the missing number. So I've got 2x, uh, 2 multiplied by a missing number. So again, I'm going to use x for my missing number. X. And then 2. And that would be 2 multiplied by whatever x is. And then I just add the 10. Okay, now this question, um, is a little bit different because it's given to me as words and I just follow it step by step here so multiply x by 7 well multiplying x by 7 I can show it like this 7x 
and subtract 15. Take away 15. To give 13. To give means equal. To give 13. It's as easy as that. Now, if you think that you might understand how to express simple questions algebraically now, then have a go at this one. Okay, so um, pause the video, have a go at this one, and see if you can do it. Um, if you do know the answer, then write it down in the comments section below. And if you did, if this, if this video was helpful, then please give me a, a big thumbs up down below. And if you'd like more videos um, to do with algebra and all areas of year six maths, then you might want to subscribe. Um, I'll put the link in the top left hand corner now. Uh, thanks for watching.